hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you the some information of site analysis related to point in time reporting so point in time reporting is a very important subject in almost every reporting where we want to look at what happened last month last week last year year to date so things like that and uh, to view that time related information set analysis can be really handy as it will provide you a lot of uh, dynamic behavior that you can achieve and uh, set it once and your report will be automated forever so one thing uh, one basic example that we were going to look at is the sum of sales for the most current year which is 2012 in this case so let's go to edit and here is the set analysis that we have been using and what I will write is uh, order date so if I go to order I get uh, order year over here and uh, here I will start writing it within this dub double quotes right and I will use the dollar sign and within dollar sign I will use the equals to max and then the same this thing and uh, once we get this over here I think uh, by now we should have everything that we need so let's see the output click apply and we get zero if I click on done yeah nothing changes yep nothing changes okay so there is some issue uh, let's resolve it and um, so first of all the way we resolve it is uh, by looking at what is the value that this is giving right because this is a straightforward thing but here the value that we are getting is something it's getting messed up so let me click apply and let me go to text image over here put a cancel I want to just add it yeah so here I will add a measure within the function I would say max of order and year so let's see what what value we get so we get uh, 40909 I think this is what not our left hand side value was expecting when we are eval comparing it with the year it should be 2011 12 or something so how we can change it to a year well let's see is here and the same thing then we will apply in the um, in the set analysis so first of all year within that date and within that function and I will just close this so I have done it pretty quickly uh, the reason is uh, I'm a little bit aware about this but since if you are doing it very first time so let's see it from the inside so what it is doing it is giving us the maximum year information but it is coming as a plain uh, number so what we are doing is we are converting that number into a date and then we are converting that date into a year using the year function and this is pretty much all if I just copy this and come over here go to here and put it over here control V all right so we have year date max and this and now if I click apply I get 3.72 million which is the order value for 2012 now if I'm interested in knowing what has been the furniture value in 2012 this is what the value is office supply 2.2 million technology 3.72 million so this is about uh, a very simple example of uh, how you can do it the point in time reporting within using the set analysis within the click sense and before closing I will just show you one more thing which uh, you will ask as a next next question is okay I'm fine with the latest year but what about the previous year right so in that case we'll go to edit mode 3.72 million selected so that's the expression and from this year we will just reduce minus one and that's pretty much it will be needed to give you the last year expression uh, last year value 
So I have done nothing, but I have gone here where year is ending. As you can see it, it's highlighted in orange and I am redu reducing it minus one. So 2012 minus one is basically the 2011. That's a simple arithmetic operation which is going on here. And if I click apply, we get 3.44 million. And if I press control C, it's 3.72. That means that's the most recent year. And if I press control Y, to undo that then I get the last year so that's what I was doing undoing and redoing the expression just to show you the difference so that's how you can go back uh, whatever level that you want if you are looking for last three year information last four year information you can simply reduct it uh, do a reduction from the most current year and you will get the information handy so that's pretty much it for this video and I will meet you in the new video the new topic